Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with the conclusion of the dry aged beef experiment. By the way, I'm doing this voiceover from a hotel room in Val, Colorado. So my voice sounds kind of weird because of the altitude, and uh, it's like a giant room. Very nice, but bad acoustics. Anyway, two weeks later, my beef was ready to unwrap. It looked like dry aged beef, it had a really dark, hard surface. So the first thing I needed to do here was cut off the plastic. Now, the product claims it will let the moisture out, which it did. This lost probably two pounds in weight. And it also claims not to let the bad stuff in. So there's no spoilage or, or nasty oxidation, which also was true. It had a really pleasant kind of meaty musk you know, smell to it. Really nice. To prep it, you have to cut off all the leathery kind of plasticky surface, which wasn't that hard. Came right off. And that's it. My, what I thought was a strip loin, was clean. So then, a weird thing happened. I went and started slicing some big, like, 14-ounce steaks, 12 to 14-ounce. Look at how pretty that is. That is one beautiful New York. Anyways, I sliced into this. My New York strips changed into ribeye. So, butcher that shall remain nameless for now, I'm going to show you these pictures, and uh, you're going to tell me what happened. But anyway... I didn't mind. I love ribeye. And look at that. It was really beautiful. I think the product totally works. And I'm going to write about it in detail in the post. So this is just a little video of me breaking it down. Nothing too uh, interesting here. By the way, very important with any steak, I seasoned these with black pepper. I wrapped them in parchment paper and I left it out at room temperature for 30 minutes. You can't grill cold steaks. Okay. So it was room temperature when I grilled it. Salt, black pepper, that was it. We served it with some amazing side dishes, a watercress salad, some roasted onions, two really nice sauces, and the potato. I'm going to demo for you. Unbelievable. And we really enjoyed it. The steak was really, really good. And as you read the post, I actually bought a prime grade professionally dry aged steak to test this next to, and it was really comparable. By the way, the potato was unbelievable. I'm going to demo that. I filmed the potato. Potato truffle gratin and don't worry you can't get truffles i'm going to show you a secret anyway stay tuned for that that was a dry aged steak experiment go to the site you can read all about it and as always enjoy <laughs>